Thanks to the support of the Insurance Industry Charitable Foundation, this year we'll be able to serve an additional 10 families with a full year's worth of services. The wonderful donation from the Insurance Industry Charitable Foundation has provided six women and children the ability to stay at our emergency shelter for 30 days. We're very grateful to the uh, Charitable Foundation for their help with this and uh, helping us to continue to serve uh, children from uh, throughout Southern California. As the state continues to cut funding to organizations like the Ark of San Francisco, we look to organizations like IICF to help us fund the vital services our clients need and require to live in the community. I'm Scott Trotter, the Executive Director of the Orange County Child Abuse Prevention Center. We directly serve at-risk children and families in crisis in an effort to prevent and break the generational cycle of child abuse. Each year in Orange County, over 40,000 children are reported abused. At the Child Abuse Prevention Center, we directly serve families by bringing casework help into their homes and alleviating the stresses that can lead to child abuse situations. We work with these families for up to a year. Thanks to the support of the Insurance Industry Charitable Foundation, this year we'll be able to serve an additional 10 families with a full year's worth of services. In the face of a three-month wait list, that's a tremendous thing. We are very grateful for everybody's support in the IICF and your continued endorsement of the work that the Orange County Child Abuse Prevention Center does. These children, these at-risk children, are our future and the way we serve them and what we do for them is a reflection of our integrity. Your integrity is very much appreciated here in Orange County. My name is Laura Repke and I'm Director of Development and Community Relations for the Arc of San Francisco. The ARC serves adults with developmental disabilities, individuals with autism, cerebral palsy, epilepsy, and intellectual disabilities by promoting self-determination, dignity, and quality of life in the community. IICF helps us fulfill our mission with their contributions for housing, health care, and employment. Recently, IICF gave us a residential services grant. With that grant, we were able to provide services to 20 clients for a month in their own residences, helping them do their shopping, pay their bills, interact with the community and their landlords. The Foundation has also supported our mission by providing us a grant for our Optimal Wellness Program. Through this program, we are able to help seniors access age-appropriate physical examinations and get the care they need for chronic diseases. As the state continues to cut funding to organizations like the Arc of San Francisco, we look to organizations like IICF to help us fund the vital services our clients need and require to live in the community. I'm Peter Bergstrom. I'm the executive director of Camp Stevens, uh, which is a uh, summer camp and retreat and outdoor education center of the Episcopal Church. We serve uh, children from throughout Southern California from a variety of economic backgrounds, uh, religious backgrounds, and uh, ethnic backgrounds. Our primary mission uh, for our summer camp program is to help children uh, discover more of who they are, to discover more of their uh, talents and imagination, creativity, to learn to uh, respect and really care for one another and to become uh, really good stewards of uh, God's creation. Once children come here and uh, get unplugged for a whole week uh, away from the electronics, they uh, really learn how to play again, not only uh, in nature, but just uh, pick up games, uh, uh, baseball or basketball, uh, group games that they play. It's uh, great fun and they really rediscover, or in some cases for the first time, discover the joy of creative play. A devastating forest fire destroyed uh, six of our summer camp cabins, but fortunately we had insurance, and uh, the insurance company, together with uh, a grant from 
the Insurance Industry Charitable Foundation and other donors are helping us to uh, rebuild these six cabins. We're very grateful for the grant from the foundation this year and we look forward to continued partnership in uh, serving disadvantaged children from Southern California. I'm Pam Carlson, the Executive Director with the Marjorie Mason Center. And the Marjorie Mason Center has been around 30 years and we are a domestic violence shelter-based program that is one of the largest in the state. We have over 149 beds available that serve women and children in our community. During these economic times, what we're seeing is a real escalation of violence in our homes. The importance of the community is huge in working with victims of domestic violence. We can't help everybody because not everybody knows where we are. The partnership with the IICF has been a phenomenal benefit to our community and to the Marjorie Mason Center. The Marjorie Mason Center serves over 900 women and children every year and provides them safe shelter and all the supportive services that go along with that. The IICF benefit has been that six women and children have been able to stay at the Marjorie Mason Center Emergency Shelter and receive all those services for 30 days for free. If the community can get involved, make that call to 911, reach out and let the, their neighbors, their friends, their relatives know that there are resources in the community, we can literally save lives.